Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the latest addition to the Star Wars Rebels 3 3 quarter inch line and the final figure to be released from Wave 3 of the Rogue One A Star Wars Storyline. In today's review we are going to take a look at none other than the legendary Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is an absolutely fantastic figure and I for one couldn't be happier that this character has finally appeared in the series. Uh, there was a long time after the Disney buyout of Lucasfilm that we thought characters such as Thrawn would be rendered non-canon, as of course he does come to us as a part of the original Expanded Universe, but Dave Filoni and his team at Star Wars Rebels have finally brought this guy to life in the series, and obviously brought him to the forefront of the Star Wars Universe. So not only is this figure very cool, but it's awesome to finally see this character in action, and we're going to take a look at this guy in a little bit more detail in just a little bit. Before we do that, as always, let's take a quick look at the packaging that Thrawn comes in. Once again, we do get the standard Rogue One style packaging for this figure that features the Death Trooper brand image at the top and the Star Wars logo just off to the side. Down below that, you've got an image of Thrawn himself and on the front of the bubble, you do have an image of the play feature that's included with the figure. On the back of the box, you've got a rundown of the Studio FX app from Hasbro and of course, a brief description of the character. Now, one of the things that I really like about Hasbro's approach with the Star Wars Rebels line, and with any animated figure in, in many ways, is the fact that obviously animated characters are a little bit easier to sculpt and a little bit easier to style than their human realistic counterparts. Um, this particular figure, for example, it almost looks like a replica of the CGI model that was used in the series. The sculpt is absolutely on point. Hasbro have got all the details of this character down to a T, and I absolutely love this figure. I think it's one of Hasbro's best Rebels figures to date. One of the things I really like about it is the head sculpt. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. As you can see, you've got those sinister red eyes, you've got the slicked back hair, and of course those really sunken in cheekbones that just really set thrown off. Really, really nice indeed. Uh, with regards to the uniform, you've got the gold highlights there on the shoulders. You've got curved cylinders in the pockets. And as you can see, the rank badge on the chest. Now one thing to point out about the rank badge itself is the fact that this is actually a variant. Uh, there are currently two Admiral Throne figures available, one that features this rank badge which is the correct version and there's also an incorrect version available as well which features a blue and red row of buttons across the badge itself. So that's one to look out for, a few variant chasers out there. As you can see the rest of the uniform is fairly traditional and you know what we've come to expect from Imperial officers. You've got the traditional belt around the waist, the lower portion of the tunic there. You do have a holster for the included blaster pistol. Of course, those glossy black boots down below. The pistol itself is very, very small indeed, so do be careful with that. You know, don't, don't go getting it lost. Subtle details on there. And of course, that does fit into the holster on the belt. Now the figure does come with a gimmick or a play feature, uh, which isn't particularly great, I'll be honest. It's this rather large missile launcher. Um, I'll be honest, Thrawn looks a little bit awkward holding this. Um, it's not the kind of weapon that a character such as Thrawn would use. Obviously the uh, limited amount of articulation that the figure has really creates an awkward pose for this one. You've got to really have him holding it high above his head to make it look straight. Otherwise, it just looks like he's kind of pointing it on down at the floor. I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me particularly. Uh, some of the accessories that have been included with these figures have been pretty good. Uh, Casing Point, Chirrut Imwe, uh, Bodhi Rook, for example. But this one doesn't hit the mark. It looks like a Super Soaker, if I'm being honest, and it just doesn't look great. It does fire a missile, for those of you that are interested. Just flick that at the back, and it will fire out. And there are some nice details on it. But again, it's just oversized, impractical, and a little bit goofy. So the less said about that, the better. But the figure itself is fantastic. Despite only featuring five points of articulation, this is a great figure. And in terms of articulation, this guy does, of course, feature a ball joint at the head, swivels at the shoulders, and swivels at the hips. Some of that articulation in the lower body is sadly hindered by the lower tunic. But that's not a major issue uh, for a figure such as Thrawn. For the most part, he's going to be stood at attention or stood slowly contemplating his battle strategy or 
admiring the artwork in his office or something like that. So, uh, you know, the figure itself um, isn't hindered by the lack of articulation. I absolutely love this one. I think you guys will too. And this is without a doubt one of the most highly sought after and eagerly anticipated figures from this wave. Thrawn is and always has been a fan favourite. And that's evident in the fact that he's not sticking around in stores. Wherever this wave is sold, Thrawn is usually the first to go. Uh, so whether you find him online, find him out in the wild in a brick and mortar store, be sure to grab him while you can. He is a, a highly... Highly sought after figure, very much in demand at the moment. So that is going to do it for this review on Grand Admiral Throne. I'll be back with some more reviews very, very soon. So until then, as always, thank you for watching. Keep collecting and may the force be with you.